Good morning, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. It's also Evacuation Day in Boston. Um, in the city of Boston, they could, never, they could never justify giving the kids the day off from school or declaring a holiday for St. Patrick's Day. But because the British abandoned Boston in March 17th of 1775, they said, ah, oh, here's a holiday for us, evacuation day. <clears throat> so on, um, tomorrow evening, Friday at 6 p.m. on the Oval, we will be conducting a vigil and fundraiser to, for a relief of Ukrainian refugees. Um, please come, bring a candle with you. Um, a lot of um, the area clergy will all be offering some kind of some words at some point, um, but it will be mostly just a vigil and a fundraiser. And we have an avenue where all of the funds we raise will go directly to Poland to help the three plus million Ukrainian refugees that are in that country. Uh, Easter dedications are still possible. Um, if you want to make a dedication in honor of someone or in memory of someone, um, just contact Carol. The form to use is also in your bulletin, and it is in your email bulletin if you're one of those who worships from home. We still need flowers for our worship services on Sundays. Um, Leading up, to, leading up to Easter. If you're interested in, in providing flowers on any Sunday, just contact Carol and she'll walk you through the process. Uh, the sunflowers, like this one, are available at the church. Um, we encourage you to make a small donation if you get one, but um, these were knit by Carol. I still don't know when she sleeps. We need readers. We only have two people have volunteered to read for all of April and May. So give it a try. You don't have to choose what you read. It's already been chosen. It's already been set up. All you need to do is be willing to be willing to read it. And um, we, we can use all the help we can get. <clears throat> and oh, there's some good news. The numbers going down. We have removed the mask mandate and we have scheduled the church auction for Saturday, April 30th. We will need volunteers to run things up and down, to, to collect, to all kinds of things. So we will need we will need a lot of help on this. But it's exciting that the numbers are down enough that we are comfortable scheduling the auction. This Sunday at nine o'clock in the morning is the adult Bible study. After worship service on Sunday at 11.30 will be the Board of Christian Education. Um, it'll be a hybrid meeting, but we will be meeting in the parish house. Tuesday, March 22nd, the South Hegan Valley Chorus will be, worship, uh, will be rehearsing in the sanctuary. Wednesday, March 23rd, the, planning, the Garden Friends are holding their first planning meeting. And you are welcome if you're a member of the Garden Friends, and if you're not a member but you'd like to be, they are looking for new volunteers all the time. From 6.30 to 7.30 uh, will be a Lenten Bible study in the parish house. 7.30, the church council will meet. It will be a hybrid meeting. Thursday, March 24th, Cindy DeAndrea's Journey Through the Bible Bible study will start at 10 a.m. in the parish house. At 7.30 is choir rehearsal. And so there's been so much going on here. It's exciting to see how low the numbers have gone. Um, we're holding right about 2.3, 2.4%, um, which is a good thing. That doesn't mean we can let our guard down completely. If it stays this low for another week or so, we're going to start talking about going back to coffee hour. We'll have to change some of the things we do to have coffee hour, but it's so encouraging that the numbers are low enough that we can begin to think about doing those things. I'm excited by it. I hope you are as well. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Keep the people of Ukraine in your prayers. Keep the people here that are still struggling in your prayers. I forgot, men's breakfast this Saturday morning at 7.30 at the Masonic Hall. Hope to see many of you there. Until we meet again, take good care of yourself. Take good care of each other. And God bless you all.